a top Ukrainian army officer said a full-scale invasion of his country was underway Thursday as a U.S. official said up to 1,000 Russian troops had crossed Ukraine's southern border to fight alongside pro-Russian rebels. U.S. officials said Russian troops were directly involved in the latest fighting, despite Moscow's denials. Rebels backed by Russian tanks and armored personnel carriers fought Ukrainian forces on two fronts Thursday, southeast of rebel-held Donetsk and along the nation's southern coast in the town of Novoazovsk, about 12 miles, 20 kilometers, from the Russian border, said Mikhail Olyzenko, the deputy commander of the Ukrainian Donbas Battalion. This is a full-scale invasion, Lysenko said referring to the fighting in the south. Obama, Russia behind violence and Ukraine fighting in Ukraine may be spreading. Intelligence now indicates that up to 1,000 Russian troops have moved into southern Ukraine with heavy weapons and are fighting there, a U.S. official told CNN on Thursday. NATO provided what it said is evidence, satellite images showing Russian troops engaged in military operations inside Ukraine. The images, captured in late August, depict Russian self-propelled artillery units moving in a convoy through the Ukrainian countryside and then preparing for action by establishing firing positions in the area of Krasnodon, Ukraine, NATO said in a news release. Commercial satellite imagery shows the same, according to a British security source with detailed knowledge of UK intelligence estimates. One image that British intelligence has analyzed, dated Tuesday, shows 15 heavy trucks, at least 7 armored vehicles and at least 9 artillery positions. Russia's military actions in eastern Ukraine must cease immediately, British Prime Minister David Cameron said Thursday. I'm extremely concerned by mounting evidence that Russian troops have made large-scale incursions into southeastern Ukraine, completely disregarding the sovereignty of a neighbor, Cameron said. The international community has already warned Russia that such provocative actions would be completely unacceptable and illegal.